I think that architecture is um, the profession that makes cities, it makes the places that we live and work. And I think especially around a project like this where we're looking at creating um, a great place to work and manufacture new technologies that are transforming the way we produce energy, it's going to have an incredibly positive impact on the outcomes for cities and the outcomes for people that live there. When we think about architecture and its impact on something like a solar research and manufacturing facility, it's important to understand that this is really dealing with two different issues. It's dealing with the performance of the program, um, the things that are happening in the building itself. And in this case, what we're doing is setting up a competition to provide more progressive thinking about the way we deal with technological transformation, the opportunities for innovation, and benefits for the um, everyone from the scientists to the people that are working in the manufacturing areas to build or create something which is more than just a kind of product that people buy in the, in the supermarket. I mean, this is really fundamentally transformational. So I think with this competition, what we're really trying to do is understand the best possible way to take positive attributes of technological change and incorporate those into the architecture. And certainly the architecture will um, provide a foundation for this technology to operate in the building itself, which is a demonstration of the, of the technology. But there's also so much more it can do in terms of workplace, in terms of innovation. So to me, this is not simply a building. To me, this is a beacon that portends or that gives us a glimpse into the future of the way these can work. And so it's a global marker. And, and I, I firmly believe that at the end of this competition, we'll have something which transforms the way that we think about these kinds of projects in a very positive way.